Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Child, Massachusetts. We're making a little forward progress on the Alpha Build project. This is the GTV6 we bought. It's a rust bucket. Came from north of Albany, and uh, I sent my friend Mike up to pick it up and brought it back. And the plan is to use this carcass as a measuring tool for the new car we're building, which is the AI design. And we're going to use all the componentry out of this. I didn't know that much about GTV6s. I did have, I think I might have mentioned in my other video, I had a uh, Alpha uh, Spider Duetto when I was like 19 years old. Bought that, smashed up on both ends. I straightened it out and drove it. It was one of the most beautiful cars I ever drove. And I fit in it beautiful. Had the little four-cylinder Alpha motor with a five-speed transmission. Shifted beautiful. Everything was perfect about it. I ended up selling to a friend, and I think he still has it. I think he was trying to sell it. I don't know if he still got it or not. So anyways, we, we wanted to get all the guts out of this, the back transaxle, the motor. And so far, we got the transaxle out and the motor out. We still have the front end bits to take out of it, and those will all be recycled and used in the new Alpha body that we'll build and the new Alpha or the new frame that we'll build. So I just wanted to show, if Markin brings the camera over, uh, the technology that he uses is 1983. I don't know what year the GTV first came out, but uh, they got the DD on tube rear axle design, which allows the uh, uh, unsprung weight to be moved in. You have the, the calipers and the, the, the rotors inboard rather than being outboard. Uh, so that, that helps uh, the unsprung weight on the wheels. And this is a five-speed transaxle right here, the transmission. And then they have a, an actual uh, clutch set up right here with the hydraulic actuator that is uh, uh, the slave cil cylinder. And then there's a master cylinder on the firewall that you operate with your foot pedal, with your clutch pedal. So this whole deal bolts in. And then these are the pan hard rods that hold it side to side movement. You got uh, uh, a torsion bob built into it. It's a really nice package. You can see if this, when this is assembled, it just pops right in. But we're going to be using all these pickup points that are on the body and reproducing them in the tube frame. So we'll have to lay this all out on the floor and everything. And today I got some wire wheels. Uh, they're on a Jaguar. And I may be going to try to adapt and try to do this on a budget as much as possible. It's, it, I just I love this Alpha stuff. When this is all cleaned up, this is beautiful. I have a student in uh, Georgia, his name is Mike Ritchie, and he just happens to have the same exact car, the 1983 GTV6, and he's a meticulous restorer, and he sent me a picture of the exploded view of this all set up on his garage floor, all cleaned up and everything. He sent me some pictures. So you can see the, the, the Italians just do such a beautiful job engineering and, and just the look of it with all the webbing and the casting and everything. It's just really, really nice design. Of course, this will have to be all gone through and cleaned up, and it'll look like a million dollars when it's done. Now let's take a walk over here and look at the motor. So here's the v, uh, GTV V6 motor, which, again, you can see the, the Italian design is just so nice with these uh, fin valve covers. You can see these all polished up in the the letters painted or whatever, it's going to look just unbelievable. If Mark can come down, you can see the sump is the same thing. It's all, all finned. It's a big, nice aluminum sump. And I'm not sure if the block is cast steel or cast uh, iron or aluminum yet. I don't know that much about them. And I thought it was a four cam, but about four or five of the comments in my, on my video on, on the car that we made earlier... They said, oh, no, this is the, the two-cam motor, so it's got single cams on each head. And it's a 2.5 liter, and it puts out, I think, 157 horsepower. It's fuel-injected. This is a big protuberance up on the top here, which we might do away with by putting carburetors on it, and it won't stick up that much instead of the fuel injection. We didn't know if it was frozen, and I looked for a big giant uh, socket and I didn't have a 42 millimeter socket I believe that's what's needed but I did put a pair of water pump pliers on and I was able to grab the pulley and lo and behold it moved really easy I said, oh great it's free it's free that's a big good sign so the oil is nice and clean in it 
it had been changed recently, I guess, and that's another good sign. So before we took it out, we took the plugs out, we fogged the cylinders, and was able to actuate the starter, and we did a compression test, and a, a couple of the cylinders were coming up really bad, like zero compression. So the valves, probably the exhaust valves are burnt on it, or they've corroded from uh, being sit, sitting for a long time. And everything about the motor is beautiful, except for these, it's got a, a drive belt on the front on, for the driving the cams and uh, a time belt. This plastic cover, they use a lot of plastic building this GTV6, and I would have been dissatisfied buying one. You know, you have to pay a premium, I'm sure, for it when it was new. And it, it's just, everywhere is plastic in these things. And I'm not a fan of plastic, so the new car that we built, will not have any plastic in it. So this I might make an aluminum cover for it. It'll be a lot sexier looking with a nice polished aluminum cover. These are actually the rear springs. And the drive shaft here uses three of these rubber isolators, uh, one in the center, one at the transaxle, and one at the, uh, the, the motor. Distributors right there, easy. It's got electronic ignition. Uh, start is easy, accessible. So it's a, a, to me, it's just like a perfect motor for this project. And I'm not going to jump into that motor for a while, but I'm going to use that motor to mock up the frame and everything. We're gonna, we'll, we'll make up a mock-up frame, get everything in place. And one of the first things we're going to do is start wireforming the new design of the body. And a lot of people are interested in that process, so that will probably be the next video. We still do have to take out the, the, the front end components, the A-arms and everything, and it has torsion bar suspension, which we'll probably use again. And that's a neat thing. The car was inexpensive. We're getting a premium design. There's a lot of these out there. There's a lot of people that have broken them up. You can buy the parts or you can buy a parts car like that because once they rust up, there's no way you're going to fix them. They're really, really rusted bad. Just wanted to show you the progress we've made so far. Hopefully the next time uh, we'll start doing some wire form and show you that process. I know there's a deep interest in that subject. Thanks for watching. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. Please subscribe.